following podcast is a production of Radio Felician, the voice of Felician University of New Jersey and the home of alternative rock done right. Available via iHeartRadio. Tune in, the Radio Felician app, and at RadioFelician.com. Radio Felician University. What's up, what's up, world? What's up, what's up? It's, it's the Nine Shades, Shades of Vibe podcast, and it's nothing but a vibe. It's your girl, Moni, and I'm here with the H-U-R-O and Hebron. Yo. Today, we will be talking about what it's like to be independent, basically talking about entrepreneurship. We're going to get into depth about rejections. We're going to talk about, you know, what it's like starting a business, what it's like keeping a business, mm-hmm. just in general. Um, Haran, how do you feel about, like, I'm not going to ask a question, but I'm going to ask you a question within a question. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about, like, being an entrepreneur? Like, you, like, in general, you starting up. Like, how do you feel? And what, like, huh, this is a question and a question. Yeah, but it is. It's, it's still, it's the, I, that's how I want to start this off. Like, not what is, what do you think it's like being an entrepreneur? Because you're obviously your one. Amen. But what do you think it's like for other people? Honestly, I think it's just hard for everybody. I think motivation is, like, the biggest factor that, like, it's like the breaking point or making point of someone's career as a entrepreneur. Because I feel like if you lack motivation, Buki, you're not going to get through it. <laughs> the Buki got it. <laughs> you're not going to get through it either. You need motivation. You definitely right. do. You need something that motivates you to mm-hmm. keep you going. What do you think? Um, What it's like for other people. I think it's hard. I agree with you. I think it's hard for everybody. But I think some people just have that mindset of I gotta get the bag, like I gotta go get it. So like mm. they get up, they know what they're doing. They get up every day. They make sure they. It's like certain people are on it, and certain people are less on it. Yeah, it's like certain people have the the motivation for it and the mindset for it, and some people don't. It's like if you don't have the mindset to be, if you, your mindset isn't, oh, I want the money. Not necessarily I want the money, but I want to be financially stable and I want to mm-hmm. be financially free and I want to be successful and I want to get up and one day and I just want to take a trip without having to worry about it. like just book a trip as soon as I get up and I can just leave. Right. You got to have that mindset of nothing can get to me, nothing can overpower me, and I just got to have that mindset of I don't live for the world. I need to get up every day and get the bag. So right. if you don't have that mindset, entrepreneurship might not work out for you. Right. And that's just real. That like, it might not because you can't sit around all day and l- sit down and lay on, lay down and sit down and not do nothing. If you want to be an entrepreneur, you got to get up and start now. Like, right. we're in a world today where social media is a big thing. Social media can make your stuff go crazy. Like, and you just, it's all about connections. So you just got to know the right people. Yeah. If not, like, that's why I always tell people network. The networking is like networking super, is super important, big. especially while like we're still young and in college yes. and still meeting people. Because you never know who you might meet. You might run into, you know what's so crazy? I was going to bring that yeah, up. Yeah, we're going to bring that up. <laughs> I was going to bring that <laughs> hey, up. Hey, you can tell the story. Okay, so we had went to Walgreens with our friends. Um, we went, I think one of our friends went to just grab something. So we went, and while we were there, we were looking for, you know, someone to, you know, shoot the promo video. Um... We Monty ended up asking this nice woman, and she turned out to be an influencer who I think she her post was like retweeted by CeeLo Green. Yes, and she was on the Ellen Show. That's, That's why she got her, her car. Card. Yes, like I'm like you never know who you can meet mm-hmm. by doing the entrepreneurship, like but, doing things like this, like getting out there and really putting your name out there, and networking like this. You never know who you can meet. And that crazy. is so real, like for real, like you never know who you're gonna run into, who you're gonna meet. Because this world is very small and everybody's connected in some way. I mean. so you never, you never know. But we're gonna start off with the actual first question of the day. Um, actually, we're not. I just want to actually say something. Me and Haran are gonna say something. Um, thank you for all the support. We just wanted to say this on the podcast. We've been saying yes. it recently on our Instagram and social medias. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the feedback. Thank you for all the constructive criticism. Mm-hmm. We really didn't get any bad constructive criticism. Everything was good. Nobody yeah. said nothing bad. Everybody was like, your podcast is dope. Like, everybody messes with it. So, I really don't yes, have nothing you. bad to say. Yes, thank you to everybody. Thank you for the support and love. And just keep supporting. Keep promoting us. Keep yes. loving this podcast. Keep listening and tune in because you already guys, you guys know. It is nothing, nothing but, but a vibe. vibe. But we are going to get into our first question of the day. 
What made you want to become independent and being your own boss? Mm. Honestly, I would say just like the like being able to do, I guess like what I want in a, like in a way. Because I feel like when you when you start your own stuff and you're doing your own thing by yourself, you have full control over like what you pose, what people see, what people hear, what you do. Like you control everything. Like most people have managers, they have a whole team of people. Right? It was just us at one point. So like, it really was. <laughs> it was just us. In all actuality, it was just us at one point. But it's like we got other people to get involved. We um becoming an entrepreneur, you have to really like you are your own spokesperson. You are your own spokesperson. Mm-hmm. You are your own promoter. You are your own editor. Like some people don't get to have producers. Some people don't get to have people who edit for them. It's just you. And that's where, like, some people, that's where I come in with the overwhelm Mm -hmm. and, like, being stressed because it's, like, it's all left up to you. It's, like, you don't have no help. But it's, like, at the end of the day, like, how do you think artists and NBA players and, you know, other people who got to where they were just being them and starting off small, how did you think they did it? They did it by themselves. They didn't have managers. They didn't have designers. They didn't have all that. They had to do that by themselves. So it's, like... Sometimes you got to start off by yourself. It's honestly just a challenge to see if you can go, if you can get to where you want to be by yourself. Mm -hmm, You got to have that motivation. You got to have that motivation. It's all, everything that you do in life is a life lesson. Mm. Everything that you do. So I just feel like anybody out there who's doing it by themselves, continue to do it by yourself. You don't need any help. Um, You feel like you do need help. Wait till you get a little bit further in your career to start hiring managers Mm. anything because you know that stuff is expensive like managing producers editors all that stuff is expensive so i really just hope you take your time um and just do your thing the second question is what was your motivation or now that keeps you going to get you up every day Mm, that's a good question i think my motivation i think it's probably like been the same thing since like i've started to like do things it's probably just like be comfortable. I think that's like everyone's motivation, just to be comfortable, not have to worry about anything, just so I can like be in the future sitting down in my house, chilling, and not have to be like, mm-hmm. oh, I have to go to work. I have to go to work. I yeah. can just be chilling. Yeah. Because I'm good for that day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I have to take a little day off. Take a little day off. Yes, Medi Petty. <laughs> right. Um, my motivation to get up every day, I say God. Um, um, I know a lot of people around campus hear me all the time talking about God, but God is a very big, like he has a plays a very big part of my life. Like a lot of, a lot of my darkest places he has pulled me out of. Um, even my friends, thank you to you guys though. Mm-hmm. But um, God has pulled me out of a lot of a, a lot of places, a lot of dark places. And I say that God helps me get up every day. It's only because I feel like, like, like I always tell people, this is a Bible verse: trust in the Lord and never lean on your own understanding, and He shall lead your path. Mm-hmm. That's the best Bible verse ever, I feel like. Because it's literally telling you, trust in the Lord. Trust in what he's telling you. Trust in the guidance that he's giving you. And if you just walk in faith, like I always say, walk in faith and not by sight. Those two verses are intertwined. Walk by faith, not by sight. If you walk by faith and not by sight and not to lean on the world and just trust in God, your path is going to be made for you. Right. You're going to get there. You're going to be ahead of everybody else. And I always say that because it's like, God is big. The universe is big. Like, people don't understand what you put out into the world, you receive back. You put out negative energy, you're going to get negative energy back. You put out positive energy, you're going to get positive energy back. But God motivates me every day. Um, I wake up, I get up and I pray. I go to sleep and I pray. Not, I might not every day, but it's like, you know, I'm learning how to still be consistent and, you know, reading my Bible and getting into it. But Mm -hmm. God is a very big part of how I get up every day. Um. Um, was it hard for you when you started and what did you do when you got told no or got rejected for certain stuff? Um, honestly, I guess it kind of is hard to start. Yeah. I would agree. It's very hard to start. It's very hard to start. Because I think, well, I, well, you know, it's a little T here. You know, we started, <laughs> I started off with music. Yeah. And that's still like in the works because yes. I'm like, my anxiety is just. Yeah, my anxiety is, is everywhere with the music. Yeah. 
So like that's taking like a little backseat right now. Yeah. And then we talked about the podcast we've been working yeah. on, you know, since the summer. Yeah, we've been working on this since like, the summertime. Like people fail to realize people are just like, Oh, how do you guys start a podcast? We've been working on stuff since the summertime. Yeah, it's like been planned. To to start a business, you have to have everything written down. Mm-hmm. You have to have everything planned. If it's not planned, it's not gonna work out. Mm-hmm. People fail to realize that, like, oh no, just jump the gun and just do stuff. No, planning works. Planning only works if you are consistent with your planning. And you're making sure everything is aligned and everything's organized. If not, it's not gonna work out. But it was hard for us to start, yes. Like I said, we've been doing this since the summertime. It was hard mm-hmm. for us to start. We've been doing this since, like, May, June. I think, like, June. Like, June. We've been doing this since June. Like, we've been writing down stuff since June. We've been trying to get stuff together. And now we are here. Yes. All in the glory. Thanks of God. Thank you so much to the Lord. Y'all know. Um, I just feel like we never got told no for anything, though. Yeah, we never really got told no. Yeah. And you want to know why I feel like, now I'm going to back on that. Do you know how I feel like why some people get told no? Because they don't come correct. Yeah. People are so just itchy to just like get to get stuff and just to, you know, people are just so itchy to get stuff and to try to like put themselves into business knowing that you cannot talk business. If you can't talk business, you're going to get those no's. That's why it's all that's why I always tell people read books, write down stuff. Yes. Like even with classes, please go to class cuz even if you don't learn something from that class, you're learning how to communicate a little bit. You're learning how to communicate the right way. Yeah. Any class you go to, you're learning how to communicate because with professors, you have to communicate. You have to, what time is the assignment due? Mm-hmm. What do I have to do for this essay? What is the midterm? Like, you gotta, you, college is a setting where you learn how to professionally talk. Yeah. You're learning business without learning business. Like, when you need an extension or something. You're learning how to talk how business to talk. without talking business. So college is to te- I feel like college is teaching you business. Like it's teaching you this is how you come off professional. So I never got I feel like me and him never got told no. Not to like rub it in nobody's face or nothing, but yeah. like me and him never got told no. And I only feel like that because my parents well, I'm gonna get real with you, like my dad He's very strong-minded. And mm-hmm. it's like with me, I am too. So it's like, one thing about me, if I want something, I'm going to get it regardless. That like, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't letting up on nothing. Like, if I want something, that's mine, period. Like, okay. that goes for anything. If I want something, that's mine. So it's like, I know how to go about stuff when it come to me asking or for come to me, come like, coming to you professionally. Mm-hmm. I know how to come about stuff. I know how to ask. I know how to, you know, work. I know my way with words, right. period. So if I like I keep telling y'all, if y'all want something, y'all better learn how to get tap into that professional mindset. For real, for real. Tap and do it now. Do it before you like <sighs> make sure you have that set. Like make sure you already on point. Yes. Please. Before you're trying to start your business or your whatever, YouTube channel, podcast, music, whatever. I wanna take a minute, um, to shout out some like clothing businesses. Okay. Because nice. this is an entrepreneur in session. Mm-hmm. So we're going to talk. Um, I want to shout out um, somebody I know. He has a clothing brand and um, he's very supportive of our podcast. Thank you so much. Um, go follow dot underscore designs. And he makes, he has his own clothing brand of t shirts. Um, I want to shout out official.etf. They're a clothing brand. Um, it's mm-hmm. owned by CEO. I like their clothes. Yeah, I like their clothes. It's owned by CEO um, at dre.etf. Um, go follow him. Go follow his clothing brand. Go buy that merch. You know, mm-hmm. ETF culture. Go buy that merch. Um, I want to shout out some artists. This is somebody I know. Um, I don't know if anybody else knows him, but I know him. Shout out to ETFJ. Um, he goes by the name of Josh. I know him. He actually goes to my school. Um, I love his music. Um, please go listen to his music. Please go tune in, guys. Um, his music is very hard. Yeah, I like, uh, that's that one song so, that came up Ms. in the name. Miss Parker? I think that is it. Girl, she wanted a- fire. <laughs> fire. Yeah, Josh. Josh ate that up. Shout out to Josh. Um, shout out to you. Keep going. I know it's hard. Out here for artists, keep going. We're gonna shout out some more people. Yes, I want to shout out my good sis Camilla. <laughs> she's doing her own thing. Also, she's very much entrepreneur and one that I think everyone should be looking up to because she's 
doing her thing. Her Instagram is Camilla, K-A-M-I-L-A, L-A-A-L-A-L-A-L-A. That was a lot, but that was that. She is one of the founders of Soul Peace Nation. Follow them on Instagram. They're doing great work over there to push, you know, artists in their how to create things, things that they're creating, the artists and their artwork. And we love that. Um, I would like to shout out a nail tech. She actually goes to our school. I would like to shout out Unique Three Nails, A V. Um, this is owned by CEO. Um, she goes to our school. I don't um exactly know her name. Um, but when you hear this, text me. Um, thank you for just not thank you for you doing anything for us, but thank you for following your dreams. That's mm-hmm. all we would like to say. Thank you for following your dreams. Thank you for putting yourself out there, you know, with your nail creations and, you know, being able to have the strength and the courage to like sit down and do people's nails and deal with people and you know, take constructive criticism. So shout out to her. Shout out to her. And she's a pretty girl, y'all. Shout out to the pretty girl. <laughs> right. Yes. Um, is there anybody else you would like to shout out? I think that's it for me. You think that's it for you? I think that's it for me too. Yes, thank you to all of y'all yes. for being, you know, blueprints and helping. Actually, I have you know, one more ooh. person. Yes. Um, shout out to Doll by Dior. She's a hairstylist in Clifton. Um, she owns her own business. Um, she had gave me some advice about me when I wanted to start at my. Uh, actually, follow my hair page at Monty's Place on Instagram. She gave me uh, advice about my hair page and advice, and she was just letting me know, like you know, you're not gonna get clientele right away, you know. You just have to be patient and you just have to be consistent. So thank you so much. And please go get your hair done by her. Book her. Yes. Do what you got to do. Right. I'm telling y'all, listen, support y'all businesses. Because I'm telling you, once you get into that mode where you want to have your own business and you start doing what you got to do, is when you support the businesses, they're going to support you. Mm-hmm. you know? Remember two ways to listen. Check out all Radio Felician podcasts via Spotify. Just search Radio Felician University or just go to RadioFelician.com. Follow Felician Radio on Instagram at Radio underscore Felician. And follow us on our social medias, TikTok, Instagram, at the 90 Shades of Our Podcast. And follow our main socials at, right, you know, I'll break it wrong. At Money the Scientist. And just remember, it's nothing, nothing but, but a vibe. vibe. This podcast has been a production of Radio Felician, the voice of the Franciscan University of New Jersey. The views expressed are solely those of the hosts and guests and are not official statements of Felician University. Visit Radio Felician on the web anytime at RadioFelician.com. Want to send an email? Reach out at radio station at Felician.edu. Radio Felician, the Falcon.